Hello everyone. So, some time ago I made videos about the fact that trees capture carbon dioxide and so planting trees could be a way to stop uh, global warming. But that's not true until you don't prevent that wood from releasing that carbon dioxide by rotting or by uh, burning it. Uh, so one easy way to store that carbon is to transform the wood into charcoal. This uh, journal here, Soil Biology and Biochemistry, has published an article. Um, so this article shows that uh, biochar does not release very much carbon dioxide when it's put into the soil and uh, that's that's great because biochar also acts as a fertilizer retainer so you can use it to make richer better soil for planting crops I want to see if it's easy to transform wood into charcoal and I want to calculate how much you you have to transform uh, to be carbon neutral but first I want to show you something so I want to charcoal these wood chips I'm drying them in the Sun um, especially these long branches here these long sticks we don't want to use them in the garden and uh, I can't use them in my gasifier These wood logs here come from a pine. They were meant to be used as uh, to make um, wooden planks, but now they sit here for yeah for about three years, and they begin to rot. There are bug holes here, so I want to use them uh, to charcoal them. Also, uh, so what I'm going to do is. Uh, cut them into small uh, discs and uh, yeah, try to charcoal them. I will calculate what amount of CO2 this will uh, transform into uh, carbon. So here we go. I will cut them into smaller pieces. Alright, so I've got uh, four logs of uh, 50 cm in diameter, so that makes 25 cm uh, for the radius, square times pi to get the surface area, times the length, that's 2 meter, so 200 cm. And that gives me 1.57 uh, cubic meter. All right. Now the amount of CO2 that this wood consumed during growth is approximately the same number expressed in tons of CO2. Okay. That's the amount of grams of CO2 that will not be released if I charcoal this wood, all right? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna divide this by the amount of CO2 that my car releases when I, when I drive one kilometer with it. And that's around, let's say, 300 grams of CO2 per kilometer, all right? And this, this will give me uh, how many kilometers I can drive before I, I have released as much CO2 as I've uh, saved if I charcoal this. 
And that gives me 5,000 kilometers. So with one tree, uh, that's less than one tree because uh, a, s a part of that tree was already burned. But with one tree of this diameter, I can drive 5,000 kilometers and being carbon neutral. So you can see being carbon neutral is easy for one person if you have enough trees in your woods. You just have to, let's say, cut four trees in a year and you can drive 20,000 kilometers. You also have to let grow four trees every year, to plant four trees every year. So, so you can see four big trees per person per year will be sufficient to be carbon neutral if you charcoal them